Welcome back. It's time to get a check of your weather with meteorologist Thomas Geboy. Mm -hmm. And Thomas, it worked. We're wearing spring colors and we it are. feels a little nice out there today. Yeah, it's a little chilly this morning, but we'll, yeah. get, we'll get close to our average today. Okay, you're welcome, everybody. We did it for you. All four <laughs> things to change going into Wednesday <laughs> and Thursday. Of course, of course. So the my advice is to enjoy today because we will see those changes going into our Wednesday and Thursday. But our snowpack, it continues to grow. This is the snow water equivalent, so that is how much water you would be left over with if you were to melt all the snow down. Earlier this morning, we were telling you that it was 26.7. It is now 26.8 as of the most recent update. And for perspective, the median peak snow water equivalent across the state, the statewide average is 15.8, and that typically occurs on around April 3rd. It peaked last year on March 22nd at 12 inches. Polar opposites compared to what we saw last year. And we continue to move well past the record that was set back in 1983. And we'll add more snow to that equation as we make our way into Wednesday and Thursday. But for today, even though we'll see some calmer conditions, you probably still want to avoid the backcountry. We're still looking at considerable avalanche danger for most of our mountains, especially in the northern portion of the state, and still high avalanche danger in the Ogden area. So stick to the groomers, the inbounds areas. There is plenty of fresh snow to enjoy, especially if you're going to be heading up to our resorts. Things for the, for the most part across the state, mostly calm. We have high pressure that's briefly built in. We do have a few echoes of moisture very close to the Utah Idaho line. These showers are mo moving their way off to the northeast and the high pressure will keep our weather quiet mostly as we go throughout today. However, we will be in store for some changes as we go from our Wednesday into Thursday because this little ridge of high pressure will move away to the east and you can see a bigger low pressure just off the California and Oregon coast that's going to work its way towards us. By tomorrow, this cold front will move in thirst first so that we'll see that chance for some valley rain and mountain snow. And by the time we get into our Thursday, the dynamics of that low pressure will move through. So a pretty good chance for wet weather across the state as we go from Wednesday through Thursday and then finally seeing some clearing on Friday. But the moisture potential through Thursday definitely looks healthy in most spots as this system will be able to tap into the atmospheric river moisture once again where a lot of spots across the state could pick up at least a tenth of an inch of, of liquid water, but plenty of spots could also pick up over a quarter of an inch. So there will be some healthy moisture with the system moving in. In the meantime, though, we do have those calm conditions for this early Tuesday morning. Here's the view in Cedar City with our Southern Utah University Camera Network, where our temperature sitting at 25 degrees. Make sure that you have the coat and jacket early this morning down in Iron County. Meanwhile, the view from Enzyme Peak looking down into the Salt Lake Valley, just some high clouds above, but calm conditions down below. Won't find too many issues as you head off to work or school. Just make sure that you layer up as we're sitting at 34 degrees in Salt Lake, 17 degrees in Park City, 15 in Logan, 30 degrees in Provo, and we're starting the day at 38 degrees in St. George. Your dog walking forecast, Bella right here is looking at you saying we weren't able to go for that walk yesterday. We got to go for that walk today and there will be plenty of opportunity to do so once we get into 10 o'clock this morning. Temperatures climbing into the middle 30s along the Wasat front, eventually climbing into the upper 40s as we make our way into the early stage of the afternoon, all for that daytime high along the Wasat front to climb into the low 50s for perspective this time of year. The average high in Salt Lake City, 58 degrees, so we will be at least close to that today. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. We will start to see more clouds increase by the second half of the day. And even the Wasatch back, daytime highs will be close to 40 degrees this afternoon. We'll top out at 51 degrees in Green River, 42 degrees in Fairview, 45 degrees in Nephi. Then down in southern Utah, we'll see more 40s and 50s compared to 30s and 40s like we saw yesterday. And St. George will be climbing into the middle 60s, so a very nice day across the southwest desert. Let's go ahead and begin the future cast 7 o'clock this morning, and as we go from this morning into the afternoon, mostly dry skies across the board. We will start to see those winds really increase in the western portion of the state. So we'll actually see a wind advisory go into effect for the western portion of the state by tomorrow as the system starts to approach. But we get those dry skies as we go through today. And then by early tomorrow morning, this cold front will start to knock on our doorstep. I think the best chance for moisture early tomorrow morning will mainly be in northeast Nevada. But by the, by the time we get from tomorrow morning into the afternoon, the chance for valley rain and mountain snow will start to increase, especially along and west of the I-15 corridor as this cold front works its way from west to east. Windy conditions along and just behind the cold front. But by the second half of the day, a pretty good chance for wet weather no matter where you are across the state again with mainly valley rain and mountain snow. But as that cold front moves through as we get into Thursday, those snow levels will start to drop. And as the dynamics of the cold fronts work their way in and the low pressure itself, we'll be looking at a chance for scattered showers continuing throughout the day on our Thursday. And there will be at least a chance that we could could see the snow levels drop possibly down to our valley floors, but the forecast will be rather tri tricky when it comes to our valleys as it looks like we'll be kind of right around the freezing mark in Salt Lake. But here's a look at the snow potential through Wednesday. Another healthy dose of snow expected for our mountains. 
But when you see the seven day forecast in St. George, we'll get middle 60s for today. A chance of rain for our Wednesday chance of rain showers continues on Thursday, mostly dry Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And by Sunday it could be a Chamber of Commerce weather day in St. George of the daytime high of 70 before another storm system could arrive early next week. Then along the Wasat front, it's low 50s for today. Breezy conditions, windy conditions and the chance for rain showers on Wednesday. Rain and snow possible throughout Thursday. Maybe some lingering snow showers early on Friday, dry on Saturday, then bring back more wet weather potential to round out the week weekend and move into early next week.